Maybe they should invent the early scooter for you. Oh, like with the little wheels? With one foot. Oh, that's very cute. I think that I that would, would like be that. more what's the style. Yeah, 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 yeah. The one that folds up and just goes <laughs> in his pocket. I can totally see that. Station house four. What? What? I need you to do me a favor. What? We've lost Annabella. When Watts first entered Station House 4, he was quite harsh with pretty much everyone. Mm -hmm. And now he's selected that almost exclusively just to John. Because <laughs> uh, I think he's trying to show him the ropes a little bit, yeah. Mm. For your breathtaking sloppiness and thinking, you get to take the internal temperature. But not in the mouth. I think there's a friendship there and, and a, a little bit of a like older brother kind of thing going on. Although you're still harsh with him? Yeah, yeah, right. it's like, it's tough love. Ah, okay. yeah, That's Watts' way. You see what I'm saying? It's positively antediluvian. The two of them react to a, a book that has been written, a sort of government-funded forensics manual, and they're like, it's utter nonsense. The egos are quite large in this respect, and they bring the man to hit the office to just tell him, like, you know, you don't know what you're talking about, right? And of course, he gets very excited and says, well, you should write the next one. And although they at first react like, we couldn't possibly, <laughs> they're like all over it, and they get very excited. And then you find out that they both have really very different writing styles, and they're both quite bad. So, you know, Murdoch is very, very dry and factual and utterly, like, put you to sleep, kind of boring. She has all this anxiety about it, but then tries to liven it up with really bad jokes because she's just known for being just not very funny, but thinking she's hilarious. But it's a really fun arc that probably may continue into next season. Did you say Dr. Ogden doesn't think, or thinks she's funny, but she isn't? Yes. Really? Yeah, that's what they've established about me from the beginning of, okay. of the show. Really? Yes. <laughs> I totally missed that. You know what I noticed is, is, is Ogden's always the first to, to laugh at someone's joke. We're all such serious guys in the station house, and right. you're the first one to like be like, oh, that's funny, let's, <laughs> let's enjoy that. And we're like... It's just that nobody else does. Maybe you'll discover stand-up comedy or something. Oh my God, that could be That'd her be next good thing. storyline. <laughs> Neither of you got to ride a horse in this episode. Right. I really rode a horse. Really rode it. Oh, really? Yeah. I rode with a, with multiple gunshot wounds. <laughs> I... <laughs> Jacked up on lithium or, or oh no, God. I don't know, some sort of serious opiate that wouldn't be legal uh, now okay, that I inject okay. myself with so that I could uh, ride a horse right. with gunshot wounds. I'd probably need that if I were to ride a horse because I have such <laughs> terrible allergies. I'd need to oh, be on really? like a, a big cocktail of opium. And <laughs> yeah, no, I would, I would die. I, I, I would but I think that that would be funny because I can't imagine Watts on a horse anyway. The horse would take on Watts' posture as they like, <laughs> trundle along. Is it that thing. bad? The yeah, allergies are, are bad. Right. The asthma is not so bad. It's been called <laughs> subclinical. Yeah, I have a few things <laughs> okay. working against me.